Okay, so keep your back straight and make it straight in one line and be comfortable with your posture, please. And gently close your eyes and focus your mind to this bell sound. So while you're focusing to the sound, mentally relax your body, relax your mind, relax your breathing with your thoughts. Do nothing extra. Just follow the sound, please. नमो तस् भगवतो अरहतो सम्मा संबुद्धस् नमो तस् भगवतो अरहतो सम्मा संबुद्धस् नमो तस् भगवतो अरहतो सम्मा संबुद्धस् होमेज तू द Blessed one, the exalted one, the fully enlightened one. So bring your attention to your body, please. And scan head to toes three times yourself and say, So Patveva, oh, may I be well and happy. Three times. Take a moment and think. We gathered here in this moment to practice this ancient meditation technique. All the Buddhas, all the enlightened masters followed this path and achieved wisdom. So we also gathered here to accumulate that knowledge. In this moment with this sitting, may my body become more comfortable. May my breath be more smooth. May no difficulties come to me. May all the success come to me. Also think for a moment. This is the last moment we're spending in this very lifetime. And detach your mind from all your past memories and as well as any kind of future thoughts. Just try to remain in the present moment, observing the sensation of your inhalation, exhalation in front of your nose or your upper lip area. And then later observe the impermanent, unsatisfactory nature and selflessness. We think each and every sensation happens followed by the inhalation or exhalation. So in the beginning, we're going to relax our body step by step. So following my words, mentally, relax your body, please. Relax your head. Relax your forehead. Relax your eyebrows. Relax your eyes. Relax your ears. Relax your nose. Relax your upper lip. Relax your lower lip. Relax your chin. Relax your whole face muscles. Relax your teeth. Relax your tongue. Relax your mouth. Relax your throat. Relax your neck. Relax your shoulders, arms, elbow, forearms, palms, fingers, fingertips.
Relax your all back muscles and relax your spine. Relax your chest and relax your abdominal muscles. Relax your lungs. Relax your heart. Relax your liver. Relax your kidneys. Relax your gallbladder. Relax your pancreas. Relax your small intestine. Relax your large intestine. Relax your abdominal organs. Relax your buttock. Relax your thigh. Relax your knee. Relax your calf muscles. Relax your foot and relax your toes. So relax your whole body muscles, tendons, ligaments, bone, bone marrows, and whole skeleton. Release the tension in your mind and keep relax your face muscles. So bring your attention to the lower part of your body and see if there are any strong sensation, tightness, heaviness. Just get a mental note. Don't change anything or don't think over anything. Just observe and recognize. Contact with the cushion. Contact with the floor. Any heat, weight, Bring attention to your lower back area.
and your upper back and shoulders. Just see whatever the sensation or the tightness arise because of the posture. In case if you change the posture, then sensation or the pain will disappear. So just recognize the cause and effect rather than labeling top of the pain or the sensation. When you recognize the sensation or the pain, see the cause and effect. Don't change anything. Now slowly bring your attention to in front of your nose and your upper lip area. Deeply and gently breathe in, breathe out three times and find the sensation please in front of your nose. So allow your inhalations, exhalations happen itself. When it happened through the sensation, recognize this is inhalation, this is exhalation. So don't visualize, don't think over it. Just let it happen as it is naturally in organic way. Let your body to inhale, exhale and just be aware about it. If your mind go here and there, bring it back again and again.
little bit bring more attention and follow the entire continuation of the inhalation and exhalations. Observe entire breath body. Knowingly, this is the beginning, this is the middle, this is the end of the inhalations or exhalations. Some inhalation, exhalation become longer, shorter, heavy, soft, warm, cold. Just observe and recognize. And keep your attention only to the sensation. While you're observing the sensation of inhalation, exhalation, there is an inner current flow in you. So give eye to that inner current. give a vision to that inner flow to experience the change happening moment by moment all over your body anywhere any sensation arise don't hold it to any experience don't hold it to any comparison don't hold it to any repetition Always remain with the newness and observing the flow happening moment by moment.
stop your inner chattering and just observe. Bring attention to your body. Observe your post. We cultivate loving kindness and compassion in our heart and radiate it as a light through entire your compound, village, city, state, country, world, around this universe. Also as far as you can through galaxies, other planets, stars. Reminding yourself like this with clear intention, mentally repeat after me. May all living beings in this universe be well and happy. May everyone be happy and safe. And may their hearts be filled with joy. May all living beings live in security and in peace. Beings who are frail or strong, tall or short, big or small, visible or not visible, near or far away. already born or yet to be born. May all of them dwell in perfect tranquility. Let no one do harm to anyone. Let no one put the life of anyone in danger. Let no one out of anger or ill will wish anyone any harm. Expand the loving kindness and compassion beginning from your heart. 
forward. Visualize yourself and send it as a light. And expand the capacity little by little. To your backside. To your left side. And to your right side. Downward, and upward. To all six directions at once, like the moon, the sun, Spread the light, spread the energy without any condition, without any limitation, without any resistance or without any judgment. Let your heart to shine with the loving kindness and compassion from the bottom of it with the maximum effort to the highest. Wishing yourself May all living beings in this universe be well and happy. Say sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. So dear Dhamma practitioners, from ancient time to today, in this human civilizations, each and every human being has some kind of questions themselves from where we come, where we go, how this is start and what is the purpose and how these things happening. So this kind of questions, very common to each and every one. And when it come to, to Buddha's teaching, it's mainly try to give a solution for this all. And uh, in these teachings, there's nothing hide and it's everything vivid and everything open, everything clear. And it is up to you to find the, the right path and the, find the clarity within the Dhamma. And according to your capacity and according to your interest. So when it comes to how this happens, mainly there are three kind of ways they're trying to explain this. This one is that uh, 
doctrine of necessity and the doctrine of by chance another one is doctrine of intelligence design so those are the main are uh, that the conversations going on in the world so the buddhism mostly very close to doctrine of necessity and when it come to that buddhism mainly explain everything through cause and effect so when it come to cause and effect there are three kind of laws in cause and effect so one is the very first one is an effect never can be without a cause any effect so any effect cannot be without any cause so it's like clay pot a gold chain wave in the ocean so this all happen with the cause so as example clay pot without clay the effect that means the pot cannot be there gold chain without the gold chain cannot be there so the gold is the cause another one is the without the oceans wave cannot be there so the very first rule when it come to cause and effect in, in that three laws so there are three doctrines and then we go from that three doctrines to to doctrine of necessary necessity so in there we talk about cause and effect in that cause and effect there are three laws in that three laws the very first one is any effect cannot happen without a cause so the the second law when it come to cause and effect the effects are plural many effects can happen and the effects are cause itself in different forms so the effects can come in different forms but maybe can be one cause so as example chain the earrings and uh, bangles bracelet so ring so like that anything can come out of the gold so that see different effect come with the the one cause another is clay pot and the, the sugar pot and the, the cup so flower vase plate this all can happen because of the clay and the waves in the ocean the waves in the sea never going to happen in mountains so it always need the cause to be there and the because of the one cause many effects can happen bigger waves and just the little ones just the breeze so like that and the third law is from the effect when the cause is removed from the effect so many effects can happen from the effect when the cause is removed there's nothing remain from the, the from the effect when the cause is removed removed if you take out the cause the effect itself cannot remain there so those are the three laws when it come to cause and effect so 
that without the effect, without the cause, there is no effect, and the effects are plural, plural, and uh, with the one cause, many effects can happen. That is very important because sometimes that what we experience, maybe it, it happened in different, different ways. Maybe the cause is one. And other thing is once you remove the cause, the effect not going to be there. So there is a mechanism. This is the law of nature. That it is not governed by somebody. It's a natural pattern. So if you have ability to understand this, rather than struggling with this, or rather than putting opinions on it, if you able to understand this, you can slowly get into the bottom of the the effect, that means the cause. So if you can see the cause, then you can remove it. But without seeing the cause, you cannot remove it. So then why you cannot remove the so uh, cause? Why you cannot see the cause? Because you stuck with the effect. Why you stuck with the effect? That is what we're going to talk today. So when we come to the world, you can see more than any other time, people fighting, anger, jealousy, hatreds, more than any other time, there are dangerous weapons around the world. And day by day, that the, the fear go everywhere. And so then where we keep going? Why this happening? That we, more than any other time, we have all other facilities and we have this all the media and communication system, science and technology, and uh, artificial intelligence, and the, the people, people doing so much things with this everything. But at the same time, when it comes to the reality in the world, it is totally go up and down. More than any other time, people do very wrong things. They destroy the nature. And it is very simple. More than any other time, we understand we are part of the nature. We live because of the nature, especially the trees. That as everybody knows this regarding the global warming, people keep talking and how the nature change and how the oxygen effect. But still, look at people destroy the forest and people cut everything and destroy the nature. And they, they going within their own behavior and they become more egocentric. And everywhere people losing their temper and they become so angry for little, little unnecessary things. So more than any other time, and the people have the anxiety, depression, and the fear. So why this happen like this way? So when it come to the Buddha's teaching, there is a reason for this all. So then that's why we have to get the help out of the main basic principle, the cause and effect. So then what is the, co the cause? Because this, this is the effect, anger, hatred, jealousy, killing everywhere, destroying nature, and people becoming more and more and more craving. And the lust, and the people kind of like, uh, they don't have any self so that the, the control themselves. They just uh, do whatever they want. So like that. What is the reason for this? Why it happened more than any other time today? So there is a sutta in Anguttara Nikaya, chapter 9, that uh, it's called Navatanha Mula Sutta, the rooted in craving. Rooted in craving. Why this happens? So we're going to go to the bottom of that. So according to the, 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 the teachings, 
this happened because of the craving so the craving is a kind of like that sometimes it is a deeply inherent within this any human life so another way it's kind of like some that the that the we have desire to become and as a part of that desire we come to this world and there is a there is a deeper the inner current keep go keep maintaining us to look for the satisfaction so somehow rather than looking why it happened where it happened if you recognize this method what you can do from today to tomorrow to your future you can change this so that is important thing why because if you start to go backward where are it going to end there is no end and we don't know how far we have to go and even we have no capacity to look ourselves that much our past forget about beyond the life even you know after the, the before 10 days you have no that any clear memory what happened to you so like that the our our mind is not capable to go backward and see this but anyhow you have ability to see in this very moment so then get the opportunity from that rather than struggling with that the the skill which whatever you don't have use the skill what you have so when you use the skills that what you have what can you do and little by little little by little you can understand even what happened in the past and what going to happen in the future so that is the best opportunity we have the present moment of understanding and awareness so then use it so then from today if you look this mechanism very carefully you can get out of this so in this the rooted in craving the why this happened to this world so it the begin it begin with the craving the craving for that whatever the the satisfaction with the self centered mind with your eye ear nose tongue body mind whatever the craving that you have to look for the satisfaction with the self centered mind that is the beginning point because of that what happening naturally you start to seeking look for that where this is from where i can get so first the craving arise with your eye not outside the body that's why there is a inner current in you that is the reason so that to happen that inner currents you may have past reason but forget about it in the moment just know there is a inner current in you creating craving just look for that don't look for reason why because in this very moment you cannot find the reason so but you have ability to tackle the the moment of this current in a more in a current so get it so that in a current bring desire to look search seeking with your i ear nose tongue body mind faculties to objects pondering to outside world and once you have once you have that seeking desire then what will happen the very next thing going material possessions then you start to to find things so the craving arise as a result of that the seeking arise and as a result of that the possessions arise then you find it so once you find it whatever related to your eye ear nose tongue body mind faculties whatever you find eye object ear object nose object tongue object body object the mind object what happening you assessing it or oh, that's mean evaluate estimate 
So you compare. So you have the craving, and because of that, you seeking, and as a result of that, you finding, and once you find it, it's not going to end there. It's not going to satisfy. Once you find it, you evaluate, and you estimate, and sometimes look, maybe you want to buy something, and you keep going everywhere. and then maybe finally you find only one and then rather than becoming happy at least you found that because in case before you if somebody come it disappear that imagine there is a product there is only one remain other everything gone you know so and uh, then you have to be happy that at least you found the the at the last one but what we does mostly once we get it we come back then we we start to evaluate oh so if i became little bit more quick i may find something better than this or oh, this have uh, this 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 kind of mistakes so like that we evaluate or oh, maybe maybe we find something and then we do it in the over evaluate or kind of like when you get a branded name you know the the calvin klein you know or gucci or maybe louis vuitton bag you know so you you have oh this is so expensive or this is so so like that you evaluate it that evaluation what will happen it 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 develop your desire and lust so remember this the method go the first craving it's all it is in in the present moment you have that with your eye ear nose tongue body mind to to find the self centered satisfaction with your eye object ear object nose object tongue object body object and the mind object using the faculties this six faculties in the moment you have current so don't look why it happen you cannot find it but in the moment you have capacity to tackle it get that opportunity so once you get it and remember that craving how it develop it going to take you to seek look ponder to outside and when you find what will happen you will find once you find you evaluate it estimate it whatever you found maybe good way maybe you become satisfied with it or may become maybe you become worry about it overestimate it so like that way you evaluate and as a result of that evaluation the desire arise the last rise hold it to it the whatever you found and that last deeply bring the bond attachment this is mine see that is how it happen otherwise this is not be happen because of the stars or this is not happen because of the the previous karma that is very important this is the very present moment of a flow happening and this is not happen because of you born in a wrong place or it is not because of the environment it is nothing to do with the politicians it is it is nothing to do with the 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 money it is nothing to do with this all the the gadgetics so it is nothing to do with the tv or the computer or the media or youtube or it's nothing to do with that in the moment of process happening inside you that is what you have to recognize so once the desire arise what is happening the attachment come so once the attachment come then the the possessiveness arise so the possessive means fear of losing fundamentally that whatever you have whatever you hold then the possessiveness the fear of losing arise and once the fear of losing 
arise, sting, sting, stingiousness arise. That, that's mean you, you don't want to let go it. You don't, you don't want to give it. It's not kind of like a, a, you not become gen, generous. You, you hold it, stinginess. So, so fear of loose take you to be stingy, hold it to something. And once you hold it to that, hmm, what happening? You start to safeguard whatever that you hold. And once you come to safeguard, you will take weapons, you will take uh, any kind of dangerous decisions, you will tell lies about that, anything, and you will fight for things, you will argue with things, and you will hurt people, and you, you destroy things, and uh, you, you start to do any kind of things. And they, 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 you cannot imagine the, that what will what the, the, the decision you take to protect that. So then remember, in the world, look at. So how the craving arise with the eye, ear, nose, tongue, body, mind, with the self-centered idea. It can be piece of bread. It can be a piece of apple. And it can be your cereal bowl, or it can be your house, it can be your village, it can be that what you believe kind of like a country, or oh, this is my country. It can be your color, what you believe. I am, I am white, I am black, I am yellow, I am Asian, I am African. It can be like that way. And uh, Maybe you can be, it can be even the religion. I am Buddhist, I am Christian, I am Catholic, I am Muslim. That can be that way also. Then now you can see in today, why day by day, day by day, all over this world, people take any dangerous decision to do harm to anybody because they hold it to the believing things that they they thinking this is mine and they hold it to that the whatever that they look for and then that safeguard take them to to protect and that protect that idea and they will do anything it's forgot, it is about maybe your personal inner desires to your relationship, to your family, to your neighborhood, to your village, to your state, your city, to your state, to your country, to your world. You will do that. But when it comes to life, look, then look yourself, how you exist. And what is you? Which part is you? The combination of this whole body, hands, legs, head, this all the body part, want that everything come together. And this form create. And then the people put a name on you. And maybe you have no idea who put that name on you. And sometimes by the time people people change their names, oh, I don't want my name, I want to change the name like that bit. But from the beginning in your birth certificate, the, the name you got, who, who gave that? Maybe you have no idea. Like nowadays here in Los Angeles, when Sri Lankan boy, you know, the children boy, they call Sri Lanka or they maybe go to website and then they find a name. Oh, this name is good. And sometimes they have no idea what is the meaning even. No, so like that. Hmm? Sometimes see, they, they gave that unknown person gave a name to you. And even come to this body. These all different, different organs. 
and look at out of this all this to maintain this body you need food and what from where that food come go to the market and do a little experiment 5 minute see that sometimes far away from another country banana come or mangoes come or maybe vegetables come from another country even the rice can bean can come from another country and you eat it it become you and then after you eat that food how you can fight for against another that the same country just just think a little bit once you eat being so the rice from the outside from another country just imagine the country b it come and you eat it it become your body just i giving a very simple example and then how you can think oh this is my country you are my enemy i going to fight for you because you ate from their beans or the rice or the vegetables or the fruits or the banana and the breathing look at the breathing from where it come all your ancestors and all other generations to generations inhale this breathing and the once you exhale it it has no limit it will go beyond and crossing this all the seven seas to to somebody else and far away just imagine you are you inhale from someone else inhalation from far away from another country and then you bring the life to yourself it it nourish yourself and then you exhale it and then it's go to uh, beyond the seven seas and somewhere somebody will inhale that so that's mean that there is a deeper connection in between you and other person the same life force you exchange you share with each and every one so when the very next day if you stand to fight for that person what is that mean you fight for you you go against you there is no winning so fighting each other is a very old passion remember that and we cannot imagine and how the alexander alexander the great fight with this all the human powers we have, we cannot imagine how the genghis khan used to fight with all the people human power we cannot imagine king ashoka and how he fight because so much human power they they used and today just with the gun or the you know the buttons we 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 try to we try to think that we can we can gain the world we cannot because we can see from the history how our ancestors lose themselves so then you have to remember yourself never get disturb yourself out of any information and just imagine because you are part of it so this all the the misery is happening in the world day by day day by day day by day people never going to learn lessons like that way so that's why this teaching is very important so remember yourself you are part of this entire universe there is no replacement for you so then you have some responsibility to guard your heart with the the good thoughts remember that it is it is a great contribution to the world you have you have no idea why because with the anger just with a little anger if you exhale remember that exhalation and can accumulate the 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 air little by little little by little little by little and then it can create a tornado in another state like a louisiana you know so that the category 6 tornado your anger is the the accumulation so that's why don't contribute that way so that's why you have to you have to remember to to release the 
the deeper this inner desire and have a thought yourself to to calm down not just just have a moment maybe 24 7 you cannot do just one minute take a conscious decision to to settle down that inner current this craving desire don't don't look for anything don't don't jump to seek don't ponder to outside so be disciplined with your eye faculty ear faculty nose tongue body mind faculty knowingly you already complete you already complete there's, there's nothing to look. There's nothing to gain. Just one minute. Within these 24 hours, one minute contribute that way. That is a moment you slowly tap, it, tap into the deeper, this inner wisdom. That, that the spiritual power that you can tap in that one minute has power to to change this entire worldly plat planet, this platter, this 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 system, you know, the deeply connect with the mind. We are the one who can change that. So then remember, it is start with the craving, that craving already inside us, and watching news, and maybe hearing news, and maybe looking here and there, and we see. Why people become like this way? Why people can do these things? The reason is craving. No any other reason. The, the craving that develop. So through the, the craving, the things that we multiply through the media every day and through this oh, that advertisement every day, craving, craving, craving multiply. That is the reason for this everything. Not because of that there is no any high, the intelligence powers come and going to interfere with this and fix this. You are the one who can do that. So then remember, have a moment and don't, don't try to ponder. Don't try to look. Settle down yourself. Then another way, contentment. You are complete. So have, just be relaxed, settle down for a moment. Just let your inner energy to be as it is. In that very moment, you can gain, you can develop the inner eye. The inner eye is that the, we, we call inside meditation, vipassana. The deeply, the inside you can you can recognize, you can see what is happening inside you. So that will help you to, to develop your the spirituality, develop your profitable skills deeper inside you. And it brings the deeper connection invisibly with you and with this entire universe. So that way, if you go little by little, little by little, there is a way you can have a life without getting disturbed. And at the same time, you can contribute the best as a human being to this world. So remember that it is your responsibility. And while you're living your life, you're not going to lose anything that if you contribute that way, there is a great blessing that you can gain. And not only that, that this craving is the, the chief root of suffering. And if you multiply, if you empower that craving, remember, no one can help. It always your life going to become a struggle. Another thing is, this is the, the ever continuation of this, the the rebirth or the becoming the your sansara this is the main power so if you shut down it little by little little by little and you recognize deeply you you slow down this samsaric journey and in a certain level when you develop that 
there is a deeper connection with the karma and the invisible it with this craving so one should drop it and there is a deeply that you can neutralize your karmic power also and that is why the generosity giving dana practicing letting go is a one of the fundamental basic foundation in buddha's teaching so whenever you have time practice like that way also but at the same time it is deeply observe yourself and don't empower your craving don't empower your seeking don't empower that your possessing don't empower your estimating don't empower your lust or the desire don't empower your attachment don't empower your fear of losing don't empower your stinginess don't empower your safe guarding and that way you can get out of this circle and we don't know from where i we come but buddha so us from here if you start by tomorrow maybe next week maybe next year maybe end of this life or somewhere in this sansaric journey you going to end this so it is up to you so remember once you fulfill this journey and the, you you can be happy as a human being you spend your time profitably and you contribute to this world the best and you contribute to the this universe the best and you then you become kind of like a gift to this world so it is your choice with that i bless upon everyone with this good practice may all of you be well happy and peaceful may no harm come to you may no difficulties come to you may no problems come to you may you also have the patience courage understanding and determination to meet and overcome inevitable difficulties in your life during this time period may everyone stay healthy and safe and finally may all of you attain supreme bliss of nibbana sabbhitiyo vajjantu sabbhogo vinasatu mate bhavantara yo suki diga yuko bhava ittavata cha mi sampadam punya sampadam sabbe deva anumodantu sabba sampatti siddhiya sabbe bhuta anumodantu sabba sampatti siddhiya sabbe satta anumodantu sabba sampatti siddhiya idam me punya kammam asavakkaya vahan hotu sabba dukkha pamunchitu bless you